Here are the topics of our robot news in November 2022. The IFR will present the World Robotics Report 2022 with very interesting facts. A robot falcon chases birds away from airports. The German team won an international robot avatar competition and Neuro Robotics presents a humanoid robot. Enjoy! Hello, my name is Werner Hampel and if you like our monthly news, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to get notified when we upload new videos. And now let's get started. The International Federation of Robotics, IFR, has presented key facts and figures on robotics worldwide in its World Robotics Report of 2022. As always, the World Robotics Report is retrospective to the previous year, which is in this case in 2021. 2021 was a record year. There was never been so many robot installations. 570,000 new units worldwide, that's a plus of 31%. This brings the global industrial robot inventory to 3.5 million units. Of the 517,000 new robots, 39,000 are cobots, also a new record. In Germany, 24,000 new robots units were installed, an increase of only 6%. Nevertheless, Germany is the European champion. More than one in three industrial robots are used in Germany. Internationally, the leaders are China with 268,000 new units and Japan with 47 new units. The US is third with 35,000 new units. The IFR projects that around 7% more installations will be added each year between 2022 and 2025. Now let's look at the numbers of service robots. 121,000 new robots were sold in the professional sector and 19 million in the private sector. Logistics is the sector that has grown at most with 49,500 units. Hospitality is second with 20,000 units, followed by the medical sector with 14,800 units. So this shows that service robots are also on the rise. The IFR figures are very interesting every year. This year it has been shown that the demand of robots is still not decreasing. On the contrary, it's growing more and more. What do you think about it? Feel free to write me your opinion down in the comments below. Birds flying around airports is a problem because bird aircraft collisions are a safety hazard. And of course, it doesn't end well for the birds. Until now, drones have been used to drive them away, but birds get used to them very quickly. Now an international team of researchers, together with the Dutch Air Force, has developed a robotic falcon called Robot Falcon to do the job. The Falcon is a hawk-shaped drone. It's made of fiberglass and epoxy resin, has a wingspan of 70 centimeters and weights 250 grams. Two electric motors with propellers power it. The wings are rigid, which provides more flight stability. Color-wise, it looks like a peregrine falcon, which hunts birds in the free airspace. There were some airports use falconeers with real falcons, but it's more complex and expensive than an artificial falcon. The robot falcon is controlled alternately by two pilots and the front camera allows them to see from the falcon's perspective. In WorldCam, the Netherlands, the falcon was tested for 34 days and that's very successful. All flocks of birds were scared away by the robot falcon within five minutes. 50% even within 70 seconds. For comparison, the researchers also used quadcopter, which was only able to scare away 80% of the bird flocks and took a little longer, 100 seconds, to scare away half of the birds. A longer test shows that no habituation effect set in even after weeks with the robot falcon. However, this is not suitable for the expulsion of larger birds. For that, 
you would have to use a robot eagle, yeah, for example. Battery life also needs to be worked on. It is currently only 15 minutes, which is, which is of course very short. But overall, it shows that an artificial robotic bird is an effective way to evict birds at airports. And of course, it is another example that shows robots can especially help solve real world problems. Of course, this is a drone, not a robot, but a work to be a robot at least. Thumbs up for that. The Nimbro team from the Autonomous Intelligence Systems Institute by the University of Bonn, Germany, has won the ANA Avatar X Prize Challenge. The award ceremony was held in Long Beach, California, and first place was awarded 5 million US dollar in prize money. The Bonn team used technology from Franca Emica and beat out international competitions. The competition was sponsored by the Japanese airline ANA and ran for four years. The goal of the competition was to integrate various technologies to develop a physical robotic avatar system that allows users to see, hear, remotely interact with objects. Of the 99 teams that entered the 2018 competition, 17 teams from 10 countries advanced to the finals, where they had the opportunity to present their inventions to a live audience. Nimbro impressed with a perfect score of 15 of 15, which also matched by Pollen Robotics from France. But Nimbro performed the task almost twice as fast as the second place. Avatars are an important step toward to the connecting world. And the participating teams made a valuable contribution, the organizer said. We congratulate Nimbro, the University of Bonn, and of course, Franke Emika for the great victory. Thumbs up for that strong performance. Neuro Robotics has developed the 4NE-1, a humanoid robot. The robot is intended to be a smart, everyday robot that can work safely with humans, either as a companion or a supporter. It can be used in industry, healthcare, or even at home. For example, helping the elderly to cope with their everyday life. Nora's goal is to develop robots that advance humanity, which is why the robot is so flexible. It has sensor technology and high precision and repability. It is 170 centimeters tall, weighs 60 kilograms, and can carry up to 20 kilograms. It has AI, force torque sensors, and can safely interact with humans through touchless safe human detection, even when the sensor is covered. The robot can recognize different human voices, languages, gestures, and emotions, which enables intuitive interaction. It can work forwards and backwards, climb stairs, turn and bend, and even difficult terrain like gravels is no problem for it. The head is an interactive screen through which the robot can display information and through which it can interact and communicate with humans. David Reger, CEO of Neura, says he wants to develop a humanoid robot because it offers the most flexibility. Our world is made by humans for humans, so it makes sense for robots to be adapted to the world, he says. Instead of adapting the environment to robots, it would be easier to adapt the robots to our environment. This would also make it easier for SMEs to work with robot technology, as they often don't have the budget to convert the production environment to be robot friendly. The humanoid robot should be similar to a smartphone. So just a smartphone is a telephone, bank counter, calculator, and much more. In one, the robot should be also able to be used of all kinds of tasks. So far, humanoid robots have not been able to convince me, but maybe Neura will succeed with this device. The approach sounds promising in any case. It's not yet known when the robot will actually be ready to sell. What do you think about it? Feel free to write me your opinion in the comments down here below. 
that was our news of November 2022. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the bell to get notified when we upload new videos. See you in the next video. Werner!